Welcome to House of Design. Uh, today we're going to go through and show you a Robot Studio Smart Component tutorial that shows basically how to use a Smart Component that we made that makes it easy to do actuators. So go into Robot Studio, Empty Station, just create an empty station. Um, once you do that, there's going to be four things that we actually pour, pull in from the libraries. And these are things that you can uh, download uh, off our website or um, off the ABB. So I'm going to download the actuator one, actuator two. These are just two standard actuators. I am going to download the smart component. So it's a two position actuator. So actually I can download that twice or just copy it whatever is easier for you but once we get them we're gonna rename it to be um, let's just rename it to be actuator 2 this one is just gonna be renamed to be actuator 1 so now we have these two actuators so the first thing that we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to make smart component or uh, mechanisms out of these things so for right now actuator 2 I'm just gonna come in and I am going to hide those two and then this one here I'm gonna disconnect the library because I want to show you how I do it uh, many different ways to do this but a new part and I'm gonna make this actuator one body uh, we're just renaming it to be actuator one body and then this is gonna be actuator one cylinder and then we're just going to grab the cylinder part and put it down into here so now we have the body of the cylinder and or body of the actuator and the cylinder of it so once we have those two things we're going to come up here to create mechanism I'm going to call it actuator one come in device double click on the link I'm going to set the body as the base link Apply that we're going to choose the cylinder as the next link close that come into joints and if you want to see how to do this uh, in a little bit slower you can see one of our other videos but I thought I'd just go through it just real quick here so I'm gonna make it so that this thing moves up and down 50 millimeters so I'm gonna apply that cancel compile the mechanism and now the important thing is is that we need to have two poses so I'm going to have the retracted position, which of course is going to be zero. And then I'm going to have an extended position, which is going to be the 50. So apply that, cancel. So now I created a mechanism that has those two. Close that mechanism. You can check it out. Right click, mechanism, joint jog. I'll even come in and tear this off so that I can save it for later. But you can see now that I have this mechanism that or this actuator that has, you know, it's actuating there. So, so now I have actuator one. So if I actually go to the properties of this one, this is what I want to show you that we have done here. So I'm actually going to lower this all the way down into the closed position and then just going to click on this filter up here so that I can mark my sensors. So there's two sensors here. So the first sensor, so all that we're going to do is just come into here and we're going to click it you know it's highlighting the very bottom of this sensor so now what I can do is I can come in and I want the extend sensor start position to be one millimeter below that same with the retracted one I'm gonna say it's gonna be one millimeter below that the extend I want it to be um, 48 millimeters above because I know it's a two inch stroke cylinder and this one I'm just gonna have one millimeter above. so now you can come in, you can select actuator number one. We have the extend pose to be extended and the retracted pose to be the retracted. So those are set up right and I can actually have the duration of what I want the cylinder to be too. So I'll show that here in a sec. So we close that. So now that's our smart component. So now if we wanna actually check it out and see how it actually works, I can come into the simulation, IO simulator, come over here to where I can select actuator number one. It gives me the IO for it. Hit play. 
and now I can do extend and now you can see extended one I can do retract and retracted so extend retract extend retract and what's cool about it is that I can come into here and I can manually move this cylinder and you can see that the that the IO here is neither one until it gets to the extended or to the retracted so super easy to set up very very quick um, I'll stop that here so again so I want to show you a different one so let's uh, let's hide this one and hide actuator one if I go in and I disconnect my library for actuator two I come in and I'll show you a different way that sometimes is easier when you have complicated actuators so I'm gonna show that one sorry so I have shortcuts but basically visible invisible so so I have this one so now if I come in and I copy this and I paste it so now I'm gonna have this now I can come in and change this to cylinder so now I have a base and a cylinder but you'll notice that my cylinder actually has the base in it too so what I want to do is come in and take the um, cylinder part out of the base and I want to take the body parts out of out of that so now I have the cylinder there and the base there same thing that we had on the first actuator so now what I can do is I can come into the modeling tab go over to create mechanism I'm gonna call this act actuator 2 make it a device come into the links set as a base link I'm gonna say actuator 2 base move that over apply come over to here cylinder move over apply cancel that now I have my two links joints come into the joint make it a prismatic I want it to be in the positive y direction there zero for my bottom limit 50 millimeters up that just means that that's gonna move up and down 50 millimeters so super easy compile my mechanism down over here I'm gonna add a pose I'm gonna say retracted and it's gonna be zero and then I'm gonna say extended and I'm gonna make that 50 millimeters close that now I can close that so now we have another cylinder super easy looking at it so this one is a little different because the cylinder is embedded inside the body so what we want to do is we want to come into this and go into actuator 2 here and we're actually just gonna hide um, this part just so that we can see this so that we can set up our limit switches so I'm gonna come in and make this visible and you can see that my switches are down here now so if I go into the properties of the smart component I'm gonna come in um, sorry first thing that I'm gonna do is I want to come in and also get my mechanism joint jog I'm gonna tear this guy off so I can have him over here and I want him to be down into the zero position so now we can come over and go into properties select we are highlighted in our filter here I can come in and just one two three four so now I have that I know that my uh, start position I'm gonna be one millimeter below it my extend position I'm going to be 48 millimeters it was a two inch stroke so that um, my retract is one millimeter below and one millimeter above so now I'm going to select actuator 2 I have my times I have my extend is my extend pose retracted is my retracted pose I can apply that come back in make it look cool be able to show the show the body of the sensor or the, of the cylinder there and then again I can go to the simulation tab I do have over here now I should have the actuator 2 and highlight that so now when I come in if I set everything up right it extends to extend retracts gets retracted and again I can take it and I can move it and I don't have any but that one highlights that one highlights if you look over here at the sensors those two do it so what's also is pretty good is that you can come into the properties and I could say that really and truly it's going to take one second to retract so now I can come in and do extend it's pretty quick retract goes really slow so that's all in this house of design smart component of a actuator two position 
So hope that helps. Hope that allows you to be very quick at being able to set up actuators. And now you, what you can do is you can tie to these two signals and do the two sensors and be able to write error code and do good simulations with it. So thanks for watching.